Yes, yes, weighing in with Johnny Nelson. Johnny, let's get straight into it. Um, what happened in that main event with Ian Smith? It finished all of a sudden, the ref called it off. What did you make of it? I think McQuinnell, McQuinnell quit, dived, however you want to put it. Um, um, I can say it because I'm an ex-fighter and you recognise that in a fighter, the quits in and you can't say it because you've never fought so you don't understand how hard it is to get in the ring. But other fighters recognise that and they will say that straight out. There's no fancying it up, saying nothing else about it. That's, he quit, he jumped and there was nothing wrong with him. He didn't get hit, he didn't get hurt. The pressure, it, it, it actually, he wasn't even hit. He'd actually, he'd actually won the rounds coming up to that. Mm. Liam was very familiar with him from the gym and knew he had quit in him. And if you've got quit in you, it's hard to get rid of quit. Yeah. And Liam thought, it's just a matter of time before you quit and I might not even have to touch you. And that's exactly what happened uh, because he was actually doing pretty well. Uh, but then, it, then that switch kicks in. It's something that happens can happen instinctively uh, and you can't do anything about it. I've seen guys get, when they do it, they've they got hit in the body, they've gone down once and then they've touched them but it doesn't hurt, they've gone down again and been banging on the floor because the man at the cell, mm. he's got quitting him and he tried to stand it out by making out so the referee didn't do it, why did you stop it ref? He stopped it because he quit. And that's it and as a fighter, you ask any fighter, you know, they'll tell you the boy quit, he's been quitting, died. Well, moving on from that to what for me was fight of the night, um, the start of the night, British title on the line, Aziz v Pitters, what a fight. Did it go the way you thought it would? Yes, it did. Um, I thought the fight was a clash of styles. Uh, who's, who, could, who could put their style on the, put the pressure on with their style the most? He, uh, Pitters, should have used his height and his reach, not long levers to keep the shorter Aziz off, but he couldn't. Uh, he got talked into having a tear toe to toe. So he danced, my man's dance. You know, why would you do that? Um, uh, but, but Dan was smart enough to be able to get him in that position to, to make him have this kind of fight. It was a good fight. I like the fight, it's actually a pretty good night. So for, I feel sorry for Fraser, I feel sorry for Liam. Uh, but it was actually a pretty good night. Speaking of a good night, super kid, Adam Azim, Another show, another fast KO. Um, is that a good thing that he keeps knocking these opponents out, or should he try and showcase his skills a bit more? Uh, no, get more I, no, he shouldn't. He shouldn't. I like the fact that he's not. He's no nonsense. And he ain't messing about when he's in there. And you've got fighters like Ben Whitaker that that he, he's he's the whole package. He wants to sort of love him or hate him. So he'll mess about. He'll showboat and everything. And, and listen, he's willing to take that risk. You know, at the risk of becoming a cropper. But that's what put bums on seats. He's entertaining. Adam wants to go in and fight and, and it's going to get to the point where they're going to have to take risks with him because he's too good for the level he's at and, and so they're either going to have to pay a shitload of money or, or opponents will pull out last minute so, and he needs the experience but unfortunately he's too good for his own good so now he's got he's to stick it out, he's got to suck it up. You mentioned um, Fraser Clark earlier and then you just mentioned risk. Is it a risk for him to step up? too quick like is it is it dangerous for a drastic step up in an opponent because nobody else wants to fight him at, at a lower level yeah it's a risk but fraser is he's steeped in experience and uh, he knows the game inside out so you know you've now got to take risks with him on a domestic level you know uh, put him in with somebody that that that's put him in with with fighters that have got unbeaten records uh, that have got ambition to get the best out of him. He's got to learn, but it's hard for him, unfortunately, but uh, stuff like that's going to happen otherwise. Johnny, coming away from the show, a um, couple of weeks back, Florian Marku had his home coming in in Albania. What did you make of that? You know what, my man's like David Beckham over there. He couldn't move anywhere. <laughs> he couldn't move anywhere. And he told us that when he first came here to the UK. We didn't believe him until we see it. Uh, so Florian, he could box there every single time and pack it out. Um, so good for him. Um, I'm glad for him. To say he's not even a world champion. I'm like, wow. Yeah. What did you make of his performance though? Because a lot of people were in two minds whether he actually won the fight or not. Uh, he's that kind of fighter. He's that kind of fighter. And, and again, he wears his heart on his sleeve. He wants to have a tear up. And then always risk losing on points or something like that. But, but you know what? He got the, the rub of the green. He got the win. 
you know, if you can fight, we'll find out if you can fight. If you can't, you'll get exposed further down the line. Johnny, last time we spoke, um, I threw a name at you, potentially signing for boxer. It was Dillian White, you stayed tight-lipped. Um, I've got a new name to throw at you this time, the source Lawrence O'Coley. Is he on his way to boxer? I don't know. <laughs> I'll take the Fifth Amendment. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, um, Jeddah was a hot one in and outside the ring. How do you sum it all up? Jeddah was nice, man. It was all right. It was, um, and listen, you know, you, people will go down that political agenda. Uh, talk about sports washing and things like that. You're always going to suffer from the sins of your past. And when you try and change your ways, people always going to remind you of who you were, what you were. That, that's what Saud is trying to do. You're trying to change your ways. You're trying to, you're trying to move forward. Um, and, and I get that. I, I understand the things going on in that, going on right, going on there now. That that you or I, are, 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 that's well beyond us. But I know they're trying to make a change, which is why they're trying to get big sports events there in the country. Which is why they're trying to open the world up, yeah. uh, open, their, open, open their world up to the to, to, to the world. Um, the fight, um, you know, if, if they're looking to put more and more fights on there, I can see a lot of fights happening out there. Um, and it's up to the fighters, all the promoters, if you want to put the fights out there. The fight everyone's talking about now is obviously Fury Usyk. Um, is that a fight, firstly, you think will be made? And secondly, how does it go? Um, obviously, it looks like, um, um, it obviously, it looks like it's going to be made. Uh, but I'm just struggling to... Tyson Fury is telling saying so many different contradic contradictions. It's not even worth getting involved in it, you know what I mean? He is fighting, he isn't fighting, he wants half a bill. He's not fighting if he doesn't get signed by Monday. So when it's, when it's done, it's done. So we can all speculate, but it just needs to be careful because it's like the boy that cried wolf. You know, they get to stage where people are like thinking, sure, I have a put or shut up. And I'm probably at that stage now. Of course, I'd love to see the fight, but why give it airtime until, until my man says, right, the, the fight's on. If it does happen though, how do you see it playing out? I see uh, Tyson Fury beating yeah. him. With ease or...? No, not at all, not at all. Um, but uh, I see him beating him. Johnny, it's always a pleasure. Thank you for winning. You're welcome.